Okay, here's a continuation of the last video that I showed uh, using a, a wall outlet transformer run backwards to light up a um, modified CFL. And uh, I've worked some more on this along with the Skywatcher idea of putting uh, batteries in series in a different way. And I came up with this uh, thing to show today. Uh, first off, the bulb I'm using here is a uh, a 60 watt bulb that's been gutted and it's just the guts and then I'm using a wall uh, outlet transformer that is uh, 3.7 volts uh, run backwards it's a 3.7 volt wall outlet transfer run backwards and there's the circuit diagram if you can freeze frame this guys that wanted to replicate it there's the diagram right there I'll pan it slow. It's a 555 timer circuit. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, runs through a transistor and then uh, runs the uh, transformer that lights up the light. Now the other part of this project was the um, Skywatcher idea of taking the um, the batteries and grouping them in such a way that you could charge up a group of double A's that are put in parallel and then when they charged up you exchange them with the group of double A's that were in series to make the higher voltage. So what I have here is a battery pack of, of um, eight double A's to make about 12 volts and then two battery packs that are 1.5 volts connected in a very strange way that feed the light the power. And uh, the way this works is as the energy flows around it gets dropped down in voltage both directions to a feed voltage of about 9 volts here and when you use capacitors as these things climb up here if these were capacitors it would slowly starve that circuit to when the light would just go out but when you use batteries especially like this the voltage drops but it doesn't drop that fast so that you can still run the light and it does charge up these batteries and here's the setup it's a group of eight. They make about 12 volts. They're rechargeable, so it's not really 12, it's less. And then I rewired these battery packs so that it's four batteries that make up 1.5 volts, two of them, and they run around to the circuit. Let me turn this on. I'll show you what it looks like. Now, this bulb does not come on full bright, and I can't make it come on full bright, but it's enough to show the principle of what we're doing here. Here comes the bulb. Now I can vary the brightness by adjusting this potentiometer right here, which is that one right there in the circuit. I believe that adjusts the frequency. And the one up here, the um, 10K resistor, would have been the duty cycle. So this is doing the frequency right here. And watch the brightness go up and down as I do this. And like I say, what's happening here is this battery pack here is running through that battery pack and feeding the circuit. Then on the return, this battery pack is being fed energy on the way back to this battery pack. And the circuit looks like that. It's very strange. It's a strange way to do this. And um, I don't know, I call it the crazy light because it's a crazy, crazy setup. And... I don't think it really works, but it was very, very interesting. I had a lot of fun playing with it. And the idea was that when these charge up and this one depletes, you take the batteries out of here, you put them in there, you take those eight batteries, split them up, and then you charge up these eight separately from the eight that are done in series. And you just cycle them around and around and around. Now, it, it won't self-sustain, obviously. You'd have to add more joules of energy but it's an interesting circuit and every time I do a circuit that's interesting I've learned something and this was this uh, crazy light thing that uh, I had a lot of fun with it and especially uh, this light part of it right here and I actually took this on a sailing trip and used it every night and uh, it was effective it was a nice little table light and I, I enjoyed having that it was kind of, kind of fun to have on the table and play with so anyway that's the latest with the, the lid motor Skywatcher, crazy light.